Hi guys, Jerry and I are putting out this video today to share the work we are doing with Dr. Peter Scott Morgan and his foundation prior to the documentary which is airing on UK TV Channel 4, Wednesday 26th at 9pm. In a groundbreaking initiative with Dr. Peter Scott Morgan and the Scott Morgan Foundation, DXC Technology and world-class partners are helping Peter use the most advanced robotics and AI to turn him into what he calls the world's first full cyborg. This initiative demonstrates the potential of artificial intelligence to improve and transform the quality of life for people throughout the world, especially those with an extreme disability. But, but Jerry, the cyborg artist software, that actually went live to an exhibition. Tell us a little bit more. It did, yeah. So hi, Suki, and hi, everyone else out in uh, DXC land. So Peter is, he's a brilliant roboticist, and physicist, an author, and he's also my friend. Um, unfortunately, he has ALS. It's the same disease that Dr. Stephen Hawking had, and it's going to leave him paralyzed um, all the way to his eyes. But instead of just trying to survive, he's decided that he's going to thrive. So some of our artificial intelligence projects include things like the AI, uh, the Cyborg Arts. It's an AI assistant trained to his digital footprint that will allow him through a uh, control mechanism that he controls with his eyes to create original works of art. We actually did a, um, a run of the Cyborg Artist. Um, we created a piece and it was displayed at the MND Society. But last night, Jerry, I got briefed by the team that you've got working on the future projects. Tell us a little bit more about this. There's some amazing work going on here. Yeah, so my background here is what we call the Applied AI Studio. It's 5,000 square feet of space at Drexel University. Now, in partnership with Drexel University, we have 100 graduate level students that are both full-time students in applied artificial intelligence, but also part-time employees of DXC. They are doing what we call our AI moonshots. Now, part of these moonshots are things that we're doing for the Scott Morgan Foundation. So there's the Cyborg Artist, uh, which I just explained, but there's also the Cyborg Universe, which is using a Microsoft HoloLens device that Microsoft actually donated two of them for us. Uh, one of them we keep, and then the other one uh, Peter has. We create picture uh, uh, Iron Man style heads up display where everything inside the cyborg universe can be controlled just by your eyes. Now, inside the cyborg universe, there's the cyborg artist, that AI assistant. We also have cyborg mobility, which allows Peter to uh, control his wheelchair or turn his wheelchair into an autonomously driving device. There's also um, the cyborg diagnostics which will allow Peter from wearable devices to uh, see, see vital statistics, things about what's going on with himself and his body. So the cyborg universe, inside the cyborg universe, the cyborg artist, mobility, diagnostic, all of those is the series of uh, cyborg projects that the Applied AI Studio is working on. It's absolutely fascinating. I mean, last night, when people were talking about the visualization and then the control system through to the current joystick that controls his wheelchair. It was absolutely fascinating. But above all of this, Jerry, there's a human story here as well, right? About an individual who's going through something um, so significant in his life, but he's actually embracing this. Um, he talks about Thrive on Change. I know we've been using that strap line in DXC marketing for a while, but he actually mentioned this when I met him. And Jerry, with that, thank you so much for your amazing work on this project and your continued passion to make life easier for and better for Peter. Uh, no problem at all. I'm so proud to be part of a company that does these types of things. It's part of our push toward human-centered AI. 
Yes, um, it's cool that we're featured in, um, that we're mentioned in the documentary. We're also featured very heavily in the book that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Um, but all of this, this is you know, one of my the most favorite things that I've done in my professional career. So it's very meaningful to be a part of this. Thank you. Looking forward to watching this documentary tomorrow. All right, cool. Thanks, Suki.